My hair's a little messy and I'm sitting down because the new trailer for the next Godzilla movie from Legendary just dropped and I just decided that I'd do a trailer review for it. It was a spur of the moment thing. I didn't script this. Uh, I didn't jot any notes down. So yeah, let's get into it. First off, I thought 2014's Godzilla was okay. I don't remember too much from it, unfortunately. And I thought 2013's Pacific Rim, of course, was way better. I was hoping for Aaron Taylor Johnson and Elizabeth Olsen to play memorable characters. Unfortunately, we didn't get that. Brian Cranston was definitely the most interesting part of that movie, performance-wise. And unfortunately, he was axed by the second act. That doesn't mean I hated it, though. It's just that I think we can all agree there wasn't enough Godzilla in it. And now, clearly evident in this trailer, they've definitely taken criticism. Not only do we get Godzilla, but we get King Ghidorah, Mothra, and Rodan, which is essentially the Toho unity of Godzilla monsters, minus Anguirus. And if you can't tell by now, I of course love Godzilla. I was that kid. I watched all the movies growing up. My all-time favorite villain monster is Gigan, who I hope we can see in the future next to King Ghidorah. What I love about the first movie is that they treated Godzilla like a natural disaster. It's not good or evil, it just happens. And we saw a lot of the chaos that unfolded with him just rising out of the ocean. They carry that here into the trailer, and just visually it looks like it. Whenever Rodan flies, the sky is filled with ash, and little buildings are torn off the ground. This is a problem, considering we have three monsters that can fly here. Now, I'm just a little confused as to what this thing was. What makes me more confused is that it's slightly before they show Mothra's wings. However, that's not what Mothra looks like, or is that supposed to be her larval form? Either way, it doesn't quite look like her. I'm wondering if we're gonna get more than four monsters, which of course I'm game to. But fanboyisms aside, I love this trailer. I love the doom and gloom mood that they're going for, which is essentially what they were going for last time. But now it really feels like it. We have four monsters to deal with one of which is three-headed. And I like that they're staying true to their origins. Mothra, Rodan, and Godzilla are essentially all dinosaurs, with the exception of King Ghidorah, but for the sake of keeping it a bit more believable, I guess, they made him a dinosaur too, or Titans, as they call them. We have a much bigger cast this time around too. A lot of people from TV in particular. Millie Bobby Brown, Thomas Middleditch, Charles Dance, Sally Hawkins and Ken Watanabe make a return. We're also gonna see Vera Farmiga, Zheng Zi, and Carl Chandler. Of course, a larger cast doesn't equate to a stronger narrative, but as long as each of them brings something unique to the story, then I'm game. Paying attention to what each of them are saying and how it's edited, it seems like family is going to be a really strong force in the narrative. Which I said before, family is the strongest story element. Also, Millie Bobby Brown's screaming is essentially a trademark in all her roles. You know, all 11 of them. <laughs> <laughs> The music really caught me off guard too. A Claire de Lune by Claude Debussy? I'm sure this is exactly what he was thinking when composing it. Overall, this is an example of a great trailer. It sets the mood perfectly. We know what we're getting ourselves into. The music, the imagery, it all coincides very well. And for once, I feel like the editor for this deserves their job. And most importantly, for me and other Godzilla fans, it made me feel hyped for this. There used to be a blockbuster by my neighborhood, and every weekend I'd go there with my parents and I'd to pick a movie and I always went straight to the monster section and this feels so surreal to me that I'm finally gonna get to see these characters fight on the big screen versus on a TV in my living room in 2005 just the subtitle alone king of the monsters gets me hyped to see it they couldn't have named it anything else this could perhaps be my favorite movie of 2019 I'm calling it and that's it uh... Thanks for watching my first trailer review. <laughs> I kind of like this format more where I just come over and sit down and kind of half-ass everything I'm saying and don't expect trailer reviews to be consistent. But whenever a trailer gets me really amped up or really angry, then yeah, I'll do one. All that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. So I know I said I'd review the Gorillaz album. It's too late. So why not 88 Rising?